1909-19, and uh, there will be concept of food science. So before that, we should see we have divided the complete syllabus into the seven lectures. Okay, All right? How many lectures? Seven lectures. So what we are going to estimate? Hmm. Uh, first lecture will be dedicated to the con uh, developing concept about the food science and technology. Yeah, already you might be knowing okay, what is the food because the agriculture is related to the food. Okay, so I think you might be able to see the screen properly. Everyone is able to see the screen properly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is very relevant for your career if you. Have a great interest in the food industry because this is a food science and technology, right? Food science and technology. This is uh, the syllabus. Complete syllabus has been divided into the seven different units. So, concept of food science: definition, measurement, density, phase change, pH, osmosis, surface tension, and colloidal system. This is the about the measurement, you know, whatever the quantity, quantity uh, food science you can say. Because you are measuring the quantity, you are knowing the density. Based on the density, you are separating the food components. And already, you know, uh, for example, if you are separating the butter, you know, from the milk, then there is a phase change. Also, there is application of pH change, right? In the uh, developing the test, also in the food science and uh, in filtration, you know, osmosis, surface tension, colloidal system is playing a very important role. So we'll discuss today that one, and then in the next lecture we will uh, study about the basic food composition and its chemistry. For example, what is the role of water, right? Uh, carbohydrate. What is the composition, and what are the example of composition? Uh, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, okay, minerals, flavors, colors, right? So we are uh, all going to uh, talk all these facts in the Next lecture. And uh, 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 do you know the bioactive components? Bioactive components, uh, which are, for example, the tea. Tea has a lot of phenol, right? Polyphenol, phenol. So that is called as a bioactive component. Sometimes uh, you are working over the uh, aspect bioactive components. You are working over the colors, you know? for example, if you are playing holi, so you are using the abir, gulal, you know? so all these are color based products. And uh, in the sweetener even, what you are adding the flavors, you, know? you are adding the colors, you get different colors, red colors, green colors, you know? many sweets you can see and uh, that color is synthetic, that is very harmful. So what are the natural colors we will be discussing over that? And uh, food microbiology, bacteria is mold, spoilage of fresh and processed foods, production of fermented foods. And uh, what is the food microbiology aspect? Food microbiology aspect means, you know, uh, food life is, food self life is very less. Okay. So because of a type of bacteria is mold, there is a great spoilage of Fresh and process food. Okay, so sometime uh, there is a great value of fermented food. For example, uh, uh, you are preparing the pickles. Do you know the pickles? How many uh, people don't know the pickles? Hmm. Pickles are very very important. Okay, so these are the fermented food, the kind of fermented food, and. Uh, for example, idli and dosa, right? Also, is a kind of fermented food. So, all these uh, fermented food we are going to discuss. They are how they are going to be spoilage, and also we can save them from the spoilage of feed, fresh and processed food. So, uh, this is a great aspect because many of the scientists working over the years from the last hundred years, okay. So many techniques have been developed how to prevent the food spoilage of various processed food. 
and you can employ various bacteria yeast and molds for fermentation of food okay so all these aspects will be covered in the lecture third and in lecture fourth we are going to cover the principle and method of food processing and preservation preservation we have just discussed about the pickles right so right Hmm. All right. So in the lecture four, we are going to discuss what principle and method of food processing and preservation. How we can preserve the food? Sometimes we are boiling, right? Sometimes we are using the temperature, high temperature, low temperature. Thus, food. Fifty percent. It is. It has been estimated that fifty percent of food is going to is piled very soon. Right. As soon as we are harvesting, or as soon as we are cooking them, they are <clears throat> going to. Remove yourself, or we can do remove the after. I don't know how she is listening the music and also studying. So, can I request all of you to uh, on your video for one second only, mm -hmm. so that I can see whether uh, you are uh, studying seriously or just. Uh, Join the Zoom, and you are away from the study. So this is a lecturing method, and you should have a notebook and pen. Only then you can have the benefit. Write the keywords, whatever I am explaining. Write down the syllabus, you know, what aspects they have to be covered, important definition, all that. I request all of you to open your video, please, so that I can see. Okay. Thank you, Pramesh. Very good, ha. Huh? Abhishek, all you are very good, ha, huh? na? Healthy and in good condition. Mm -hmm. Nitish, very good. Prajwal, Prajwal like superhero. <laughs> no sir. Gopal, all you are uh, all you are enjoying at home, na? Huh? Very good. So. Fifth lecture will be food and nutrition. What about others? Others are away. Just join the Zoom now for the attendance. So if you are not studying, then how will you grow? You cannot think. So lecture five will be dedicated to food and nutrition aspect. We are going to discuss the different aspects of the nutrition part from the carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, flavors, you know? and then malnutrition aspect, uh, nutritional disorders. Energy metabolism, carbohydrate, fat, and protein. Okay, so balance, modified diets, menu planning, uh, nutrient uh, on food and science and nutrition. Okay, so all these aspects are very easy paper, but you have to uh, understand the complete story. So today, in the today's lecture, we are going to understand the concept of food science. And also, we are going to define the food science, and also we'll know about the different aspects of uh, quantity measurement, density aspect. How you can calculate? How you can know the phase change? What are the applications of the density measurement, phase change, or the change of burn? Na karna daraja surface tension and collider. So, uh, anyone will answer. What is the density? I think everyone can answer. Raise your hand. What is the density? What is the food science? Who will explain me? What is the food science or food? Hello. What is the food beta? Who will answer me? Hello. Can you tell me about the food? 
these are the edible materials which we consume and that helps us to keep us healthy sir hmm. that is a kind of food material okay right so what is the food actually how do you define the food food mean can you eat the soil no okay so this is this will not be a food if you are if you are able to eat the apple this is a food why this is a food tell me because it give nutrition for the growth and development ah, because you want nutrition right you want your growth and development and growth and uh, development basically depends on the nutrition so whatever the component that is present in the nature right uh, in the plant in the animal you are going to utilize them as a food okay so food keep you healthy food gives you nutrition so food has a very beneficial aspect if you are eating the healthy food right nowadays the food is not an healthy aspect why why food is not healthy today the today's environment food is not healthy why why we are saying like that due to chemicals sir many people yeah. are using Because chemicals pesticide we are using a lot of chemical pesticide hai na so heavy use of pesticide making the food dangerous and they are causing various diseases okay for example growing you know growing children this is very very harmful they cannot be even if you can see the milk you know milk whatever the small children are consuming they are not healthy so why they are not healthy because they are containing a lot of chemicals okay If anyone is late, I'm not going to allow a call again. Okay, so from next time, you should join at time. Okay, right? Got the idea? Patients are coming here and there. Right? This is not good. So now you can see this is this is a food, right? Biscuit, whatever you can see. So food science is a systemic systematic study of nature of food material what is the nature what is the nature of food material what is the nature of food how will you define the nature of food nature means it's a carbohydrate it's a fat hai na right am i right or no, wrong tell me nature of food means it's a protein or it's carbo hydrate or fat okay so what is the exact nature of food we the food science is a systematic uh, systematic study of nature of food material and the scientific principles underlying their modification preservation and spread so whatever the scientific principle you are applying to change their nature because if you are not changing you are not modifying their nature you are not able to preserve them for long time you cannot save them for you cannot save them from the expiry so their proper modification their proper modification is essential and whatever the scientific principle is applied that is studied under the food science so food science is a systematic study of nature of food material and the scientific principle and why we are studying the food science because the two aspects are there here at first we are understanding the their food the nature of food for example their composition and how much energy nutritional part nutritional part is linked with the energy aspect so how much energy is coming you know for example which is the highest energy source out of the protein carbohydrate fat tell me who will tell me प्रोटीन कार्बोहाइड्रेट 
Suppose you are consuming one gram protein, one gram carbohydrate, one gram fat, which will give the highest energy component. One fat protein, second carbohydrate, third fat. I think protein, sir. Highest energy will be given by the fat. Nine Are kilo calorie, right per gram. Carbohydrate only four, right? And the least one is protein. Okay, least one is protein. The highest one is fat. Okay, got the point? And how they can be modified? Suppose you are having a flour, right? Right? From wheat, you are converting them into the flour, and then flour into the bread. Now you can see the bread in the market, right? So which one is modified? Wheat is modified, or bread is modified food? Which one is modified food? Tell me. Who will tell me? Bread. All of you, keep your video on, please. Okay, all you are sleeping. I know no one is responding. Just you are joining Zoom, and you are away from that. I am going to na, make you out if you are not responding, and I will mark you absent. Kindly put, put uh, kindly on your video as per instruction. Okay, and from. Uh, Next period, I am not going to allow the late comers. Okay, so which one is modified? Tell me, sir. Which is modified food or bread? Bread, sir. Bread. Why this bread, is modified? Sir. Why this is modified? Because you have changed the composition, right? From wheat, wheat, we have converted them into the flour and then into the bread. Bread. Bread, bread is modified and it needs preservation. Right, wheat you, you you don't need much preservation, right? Flour you need very little effort for the preservation, but bread need high preservation because they are easily attacked by the microbes. Clear? Is this slide clear? How many? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Then I. So food are generally complex material, right? This is one. 30 hours class, 11 to 12:30. The property of their component determine the quality of food. Okay, so the quality of food is determined by quality of the food. For for example, you are saying this this food is very tasty, right? But if they they will be tasty means if they are fresh. If you are eating any fresh food, then they are more tasty. If you are eating the spoiled food. Spoiled food, they will cause food poisoning. Got the point? They will cause the food poisoning. So, which quality is better? Which quality is better? Fresh, fresh one quality is better than spoiled food. So, food is generally complex material. Property of their component determine the Quality of food and food component are in the various form. For example, wheat is solid or liquid. Wheat is solid. Solid. Flour is solid or liquid. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Solid. First, they are solid, but if you are adding the water, they will be liquid. liquid. And if you are adding more water, then they will be the emulsion. They will be the emulsion. Right. So, if you are making the bread again, they will be the solid. So, food components are in various forms. They may be solid. They may be the solution. Milk is a solid or liquid? Who will tell me? Liquid. How many people think milk is a liquid? Because only one answer I get. Liquid. Milk is liquid. Is it only liquid? Only two people know the milk is liquid. Rinka Sharma, Pooja, Rishik, Chauhan, Dhanush. Even Sushma or Varshi, you don't know the milk is liquid. Yes, sir. So milk, milk is liquid. Yes. Say confidently. 
say conveniently that milk is a liquid. liquid. ठीक है so food may have solid, liquid or solution composition. so such type of food showing the property of colloid forms. that's why they can be they can change their composition from solid to liquid or salt or these undergo various physical and chemical changes when exposed to different conditions. So knowledge of scientific principle of these is necessary to understand and control the changes occurring in foods during various aspects of food handling. What is the basic concept? Basic concepts of food science, this is not a new science. Rather than you should know, you should know physics, you should know chemistry, you should know mathematics also. Right, you should know the biology part. Then only you can understand the food science. The so food science need understanding of various discipline of science. For example, physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, and biochemistry. And biochemistry, what else? Then microbiology. You should know. Microbiology deals with. Microbiology deals with. Okay. Right. Studying microorganism. Ha. If you are using the thermometer to measure the temperature of food, food, this is a physics. If you are studying the pH of the food, this is a chemistry. But if you are calculating ki how much bread you should sell to earn one lakh rupees, this is a mathematics. Math. If you are studying the spoilage part, this is a biology, right? And what is the technology? Technology means if you are converting the wheat into bread by using certain machine. So if you are utilizing the machine, then this is called as the this is called as the technology. 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 You are using the technology. If you are using the machines, you are using the technology. Clear? So now, what you are uh, also doing? You are packaging the food, right? You are storing at a proper place, and then you are serving the food. Because if you are going to eat the packaged food in the market, right? If they are open, you will not buy. If they are packed, you will buy. Why you are buying the packed food? Why you are buying the backpack food? Tell me. Who will answer? Sir, to keep it for a longer time. You are buying the packed food for the two purpose. For keeping the longer time, also you believe that this is not a spoiled food. If the food is open, it means there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee of food. It may be already spoiled. Okay, it may be square. Correct? Ah, look. Tell me. Why you are buying the packed food? Because they are guaranteed that they are not. They are not square. Clear? So there are very few of chemistry. Chemistry says that there are. Matter, matter exists in three states: solid, liquid, and gas. Solid, liquid, and gas. And also, there are two types of substance: mixture and the pure substance. So if pure substance is there, then we fix property of temperature, pH, and their melting and all other things, right? Okay. But their mixture, they have the different chemical compounds. How many are in compound will uh, compounds will decompose under various chemical reactions other than change of state and temperature is there? So almost all the organic compounds have this property. They are going to decompose easily whenever you are going to boil at very high temperature or changing their environment. For example, from cold to hot, and if you are changing their pH, many foods are. Complex mixture of chemical substance. Why we are using the term chemical substance for the food? 
because if you are talking about the carbohydrate so is this chemical or not tell me is this a chemical substance or not how many say yes how many say no tell me is this a chemical yes. substance yes sir yes why because they are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen, oxygen. so this is a chemical substance so carbon if you are talking about the glucose the writing the formula c6h12o6 so this is the formula of carbon so what we can say foods are complex mixture of chemical substances and if you are adding the if you are eating the glucose it will be tasty or not only glucose is tasty or not so many times they may feel dry for example you are eating flour wheat flour ha na so they are tasty how yes, many sir. people they are tasty hmm anjila are there deepak kalpana ji ki yes yes sir yes sir they are not tasty then what you are adding then you are making the aloo paratha okay so to make the aloo paratha what you are adding various salt hai na and then potato mashed potato okay and very sort of thing that is called as the additive so if you for making them tasty what you are using you are using the additive you are adding the salt why are adding the salt and additive to improve the color texture and taste so if you are selling the flour only so no one will eat directly they have to be modified they have to be processed okay but they are not tasty they should have a great color then you can sell them right samosa how many of people have eaten the samosa samosa is like this hmm who don't know about yes. samosa yes. what is samosa if samosa is black you will eat no yes or no tell me just this color open up no if this is a black no one will eat because this is a bond type ha na so if you want to sell samosa of 10 rupees one samosa so it should be not black ha na it should have a brownish color right or for example golden color is color na this is called the color then flavor then now you have approved this is a good color now you are eating if this is not having the right composition or high salt high salt will you eat no sir <laughs> no very high spicy ha na and then paper very high paper is there right you are not going to eat that so what you are uh, going to do you have to optimize this composition proper amount of salt proper amount of paper and other things so that so color is passed test is passed so they should have a improved color improved texture improved flavor so it undergoes further chemical changes during this process now for example you have to sell this samosa on the next day then you have to store them right and if you are going to store them then what is the strategy for this samosa tell me how you can store them for the next day so that they should not lose their color also and their taste should not change tell me tell me ta हेलो 
हेलो संतोष हाँ जी व्हाट इज व्हाट इज सर जी यू विल डू इफ यू वांट टू सेल द समोसा नेक्स्ट देन बेटर कुक इट हाफ हाफ ओके हाफ राइट हाफ कुक एंड देन अगेन इफ यू आर कुकिंग नेक्स्ट डे हाफ देन this is not going to change the color if color will be better and also if the all the composition is better then it will have the almost same test okay and from the spoilage what you will do in the storage you will keep them into the low temperature all right got the point yes sir so what i am saying Many foods are complex mixture of chemical substances, and in the processed food, additives are added to improve the color, texture, and flavor. Right? And also, there is a chemical changes during storage. So, how you can prevent the chemical changes by storage at low temperature? And if you know, there is, there may be chances of uh, microbial attack. Then you should go for the cooking mode. So, half cooking is better. right processing you we'll go to the samosa shop they will always keeping the samosa ready but they are half cooked means as soon as they are demanding the samosa they are again boiling it as well as in the human body during digestion of food by action of chemical substances so food chemistry is a science that deal with the what composition first then structure you should know the structure of the carbohydrate pho composition made up of how many carbon how many hydrogen how many oxygen and then you are coming about the property of food for example glucose plus fructose means what you are eating the sugar cane and alone you are suppose santosh is eating sugar cane juice right and then alok is eating only glucose third and then avichar is eating only fructose which will be the taste better which will be the more tasty okay. sugar cane juice will be more tasty ah, sugar cane juice will be more tasty because there is a mixture of glucose and fructose alone glucose or fructose will not be so much tasty so what you are doing property of food it, it depends on the Composition and structure of the food, right? Food. So if uh, only glucose is there, the property will be means less tasty. Only fructose less tasty. If glucose and fructose both are there, then sugar cane. But if I drinking the milk, they are more tasty because they are lactose made up of glucose, maltose, right? Right, so that's why lactose are further more nutritious and clear. Any question? No, sir. So why we are uh, planning the uh, store the food? Because storage. Suppose you have one ton food, and only ten kg you have. using eating used for the eating purpose so you cannot throw them rest of the 90 kg food so you are planning to store them but what is the problem during this storage right if you are not storing them at proper place they may be so you are using the free to store them so that they should not be contaminated There should not be any fungal disease, है ना? Any bacterial disease that may cause the food poisoning. Many time, what happens if you are eating? If you are eating from the street food, if you are eating the street food, then what you are causing? You are getting the food food poisoning. Why you are getting the food poisoning? Because of eating still food, it's spoiling. 
है ना अनहाइजेनिक फूड बिकॉज ऑफ स्पाइरेज ऑफ फूड ऑन कंटामिनेटेड फूड यू आर गेटिंग सिक बिकॉज ऑफ फूड पॉइजन राइट तो दे आर इंडिकेशन ऑफ स्पाइलेज ऑफ द फूड ऑन फिट फॉर द कम्पोजिशन बट यू आर हिटेड तो माइक्रो एंजम आर बेसिकली स्पाइलिंग द फूड वॉट यू कैन से माइक्रो एंजम आर स्पाइलिंग द फूड they have the basic growth requirement if you are providing that growth requirement for example right kind of moisture high moisture content present in the food microbes will grow if you are providing 23 degree centigrade they will grow if you are providing 24 hours time they will grow right if you are providing the acidic ph the acidic microbes will grow if you are providing the basic ph basic microbes will grow and the presence of absence of oxygen if oxygen will be very high more microbes will grow if you are keeping them into the absence of oxygen what will happen tell me in absence of oxygen microbes will not be able also no growth can grow that's why you are packing the food have you heard about the tetra pack tetra pack whatever the fruit juice you are going to use they all are using the tetra pack the tetra pack means four layer pack white tetra means four layer pack they are completely not allowing any entry of oxygen right not change of any ph they have the preservative right and always they are stored at low temperature so they are their purpose is to reduce the microbial growth clear clear na so uh why we are taking the food for the nutrition purpose but preparing the food is very time consuming so everyone want kind of packed food ha na ready made food for example if you are eating the palak paneer ready made palak paneer right just ready made palak paneer is available in the market just follow the instruction and it will be ready in the 5 minutes okay and nowadays you can see peas green peas are available in the frozen condition right so green peas as a benefit they are stored minus 20 degree centigrade and they can be consumed around the year right without any problems now if we're talking about the food processing part what is the food processing part means you are procuring your agriculture product for example you are taking the maize tomato simla maize right rice wheat everything they must be processed into food product then you can solve the two problem what problem you are going to solve by the food processing you are modifying their composition so you can keep them for the long time otherwise in the raw condition they can spoil and they will not be available for the huge population how much population we have very huge population second highest population in the world after china so how we are going to feed this population if we are not converting the raw food product so whatever the technology we are using for modification of these raw food into the complete food this is called as the food processing aspect so now we will understand uh, this concept of measurement you might be knowing density you might be knowing phase change you might be knowing just i will revise your concept and i will give you some formulas okay and what the osmosis surface tension and colloidal system also so already we have discussed what is the food science food science is a study of physical biological and chemical makeup of food and the concept underlying food process and what is the food technology it is the application of food science to the selection preservation processing packaging distribution and use of safe food what is food processing tell me food processing means method and technique used to transform raw agriculture food product into the finished or semi finished food products right transforming raw ingredients into finished and semi finished products so food processing require requires what good quality raw material from in the plant or animal source right good quality 
raw material from here. Plant animal source to be converted into attractive, marketable, and often long shelf life food product. Right? Okay. So while you are processing the food to make the good quality of good use of raw material products, right? And because you want to earn money, for example, tomato. What is the concept of tomato? Hmm, who will tell me? Anyone knowing about the tomato? Anyone don't know? I am surprised. Arvind Tiwari, Pooja, Raj Chaudhary, Riti, Riti, Riti. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Food, uh, online food delivery wala jo hai na. Arey, yeah, right, 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 right. So, what is the purpose of Jomato? Jomato is a marketing aspect of the processed food. Okay. So, your packaging is better. You are delivering fast, hai na? And also, they have a good taste along with the good self life. So food technology, which is the engineering part, right? Engineering part of the technology means if you are interested in B Tech food science, then you should know these aspects in very much detail. But here for the B Tech agriculture purpose, you have to study very little, right? Huh? Just uh, you have to study the aspects of storage, how to preserve the food, how to process the food, how to package. A little bit about the distribution of safe nutritious and wholesome, desirable as well as affordable, convenient food. Right? So, what is the another significant aspect of food technology? Because when you are going to mess for eating, then I have seen ninety percent of the students are throwing a large amount of food. Why they are? Throwing the food, tell me who will tell me why mostly the students are throwing the food. Tell me, Uta, if you are eating in the mess, so many students are throwing a large number of food into the dustbin. What is why they are throwing? Can you guess? Who will tell me? Hey, it's the easy answer. Not okay. easy. Huh? Tell me who will tell me. Abhishek, Amrit, Anjali, Patak. Shivendra is telling sir. Shivendra is telling. Hmm. Shivendra is telling. Because of this sir, they put too much oil, so too much of uh, salt, something. Ah, sir. This is one point. It's because they are food is not tasty, so they are throwing. Okay. So why you are not taking a small amount? You are filling all the thali, है ना? Yes. <laughs> Then you are yeah. finding no, it sir, not tasty. Sir. They are not giving quality quantity food, sir. They are giving only quantity, large amount of quantity. So the first uh, point coming from your side is the food is not tasty according to your choice, and second, your habit. Second point is habit. Habit of throwing. Means uh, you should check the food. Ki I should you should know how much amount I should eat the food, and you should be very sensible because what is happening in the market? Many people, many thousands, thousands people are sleeping without food. Think about them. Then you will not throw the food, right? Yes, because sir. I have never are, tried to eat the, but they are, didn't let us taste. Pardon? They are not allowing us to taste. Even hmm. if we will take some amount, they will just say, uh, "Do you dare go?" And you will not. I will not give. Hmm. Next point. Any next point? What are the reasons you finding? Why people are wasting the food? Because they are not aware of poverty, you know, food waste poverty. So many people are looking for the food. Many people are living for the food, है right? <laughs> ना? And many people are throwing the food, and many people are not getting the food. Which one? Which option is think you should you should keep in your mind? 
while throwing the food tell me men many people are not getting the right amount of food they are eating from the dustbin have you seen such people at the railway station and many bus stand many people are eating over the dustbin they are looking in the dustbin to where the food is there so is this the right approach to throw the food in the dustbin no if this is not tasty what you should do first have a little amount of food in your thali okay don't take huge amount and then test it if it is not test then you have to waste only very small amount of food right and if you have six chapatis and then one katora dal <laughs> two katora sabji and then are you throwing means you have wasted two person food in a day sir then what if all students will eat in a small amount of food and after that all foods are where it will go hmm suppose if we all the students of the hostel are eating in a small amount but they they have cooked in large quantity of the food and the, and but the, we, we all the students uh, eat only a small quantity of the food then <laughs> it's always it's total waste ha ah, just keep in mind that you should not waste the food okay just a simple point and uh, if just the start problem of mess ha ah, this <laughs> is <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> he is not, he is not telling the problem of all country or all nation. He is telling about ah. the problem of our nation. This is your personal problem. You should solve this. Either you nah, should nah, not. Nah, nah, nah. Talking not about to eat this kind of food. <laughs> he, if okay. he buy from a uh, food from a hotel, he will eat all food. Hmm. Yeah, because they, it is tasty, no? Yes, yes, yes. Your food will be right. No one can throw. Hmm. It depends on the cook. how they are cooking so it means you have a very good option to open your startup okay like zomato and then prepare the tasty food and the sell in the market that's why you should study this topic properly why you should study this topic properly because you are food lover many people have a very accurate sensor right they can tell you the precise amount of salt and spices right this is not good this is good this is very smelling good right and they are uh, moving around the world for the test so better you should make a team you should develop you should learn this science food science and technology and you should open the restaurant okay so before the starting this measurement part uh yes So there are various uh, career aspects also. You should know food packaging industry, Zomato like startup, right? And uh, industrial practices means uh, you you can learn what are the system control, distribution channel, consumer purchase pattern, and you can study more advanced study in the food science and technology, and uh, you can launch your product, right? So all these are. if you, you are finding anything if there is a lacuna anywhere then you should think about improving not criticizing because criticizing always may not you can give the you can get the right results right then you should think about that what are the alternative way because this is practice of long time many people are complaining about that how you can improve that so uh, if you are getting higher studies in the these uh, field uh, food science and technology you have a various career avenues like production manager opportunities of project implementation as a marketing and sales personnel sensory evaluation personnel quality assurance department research and development product development project financing project appraisal teaching and research entrepreneurship uh, development consultancy technical marketing of product right and there are also you know uh who can tell me about the ccd so what is the full form of ccd ccd have you heard about that sahin parveen yes, yes, coffee day 
is the default form is the coffee cafe day this is a kind of start okay similarly there is a meat company which meat company is very popular in the world hmm meat based food product which company is very popular you don't know kfc sir ha ah, right tell me again kfc sir hmm phir se bolo nahi sunai diye tell me again or tell me again anjila vandana no one is responding all are sleeping i know just turn on your camera kfc sir kfc yes kfc right so all these company are the kind of self employed okay if you are telling in concept ccd has a concept that there was a lady hai na and uh, she was feeling bored in her house okay so what she thought she i should look for some tasty food around and that should be so this should be enjoying in very good time pass and then uh, she discovered in the market that there is no proper seating arrangement they are obviously they are cheap but they are unhygienic hai na they are not uh, prepared properly they are not seating arrangement proper hai na so then they she developed a concept that i should develop such a venue in the term of this day cafe coffee day so there should be some other there should be small snacks hai right? na there should be very good taste of coffee sitting arrangement with the music flowers hai right? na a very good environment so this is a kind of self employment awareness so these are the some questions that can be asked in examination all right Uh, about the how you can preserve the food. What is the definition of food science, food processing, food technology, food spoilage, right? And the list some old method of food preservation. For example, making the pickles. Give a brief brief account of development, okay? And then we will discuss about the answer. ठीक है? Now you can see the results. So enough grain is produced in the world to give every man, woman, and child pounds each day. है ना? Five. First is five. B is one. C is two. Three. How many pounds are required by everyone? है ना? This will be maximum five. ठीक है? So that uh, that is good option. Answered by thirty three percent. Fat contribute about calorie. How much calorie is there? Nine calorie. So most of the sixty-four percent people have given the right answer. Okay, fat and oil contain times more energy than protein and carbohydrate. So multiply by first one is two, right? Ah, uh, two point two five. First option is two point two five. B is two. C is one point five. And this is, I think, two option is it. So which one is better? How many times? Fat and oil nine times. Nine times means if you are calculating from the four, this will be the two times, right? So choice B is correct. This is given by the highest number of people, sixty-four percent. Okay. And the last question is. Fermentation is stopped by pasteurizing and cooling. Okay, so some uh, thinking that cooling is the best option. Some is thinking heating is the best option. So what is the best option? But if we are talking about the pasteurizing, pasteurizing much heating is not allowed. Only the cooling is allowed. Okay, all right. So uh, in my view. Cooling is the best option because only one choice is correct, not two choices. Any question from anyone? Hello, I'm audible to all of you. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, 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 sir. Sir
Sir, how expiry period of different manufacturer food is determined in the industry? Pardon? Sir, how that expiry period of certain uh, processed food is determined in the industry, sir? Life, life is when you are asking, na? Self life, na? What you are asking? You are asking the how the food lifetime is determined, na? Yes, sir. That's all. Okay, very good of question because suppose you are uh, talking about the milk, है ना? So milk, uh, if you go back to the history, then milk uh, was going to expire very soon. That means if you are extracting the milk in the morning, it's going to expire in the evening. Then how it was controlled? Because for the military purpose, for the other purpose, है ना? The storage of milk is very very important. So pasteurization technique was discovered by the French scientist Louis Pasteur. Okay, and then what they did? They find that uh, because if you have a large amount of milk, suppose one ton, two ton, so you cannot go for the heating for long time, right? So you should develop a technique so that it should have an increased shelf life. So what they did? This is called as a testing. है ना दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ फूड माइक्रोवेव वेयर यू कैन एसेस व्हाट यू कैन एसेस द क्वालिटी ऑफ द फूड पीएच ऑफ द फूड है ना बेस्ड ऑन द पीएच बेस्ड ऑन द कलर बेस्ड ऑन द टेक्सचर यू कैन फाइंड आउट द एग्जैक्ट सेल्फ लाइफ इफ यू आर सपोज यू आर डूइंग द प्रिजर्वेटिव एंड इफ एवरीथिंग इज सेम आफ्टर 45 डेज बट ऑल ऑल इट्स फीचर्स आर चेंजिंग आफ्टर द 45 डेज व्हाट विल बी द uh half life of this food tell me what will be the half life of this food obviously 45 days okay because after 45 days all this food are going to expire right they are how the spoilage is determined tell me the spoilage is determined by their food quality texture ph hai na okay for example if the food is expiring here first what you can see is smell bad smell hai na right they are smelling bad the texture is different and what other properties tell me beta moti krishna yes sir Are you getting my point? What I'm saying? What yes, is the symptom of this quality? Changing the texture, uh, texture uh, flavor, smell, है ना? Smell. This is the uh, part of food microbiology. But suppose you are adding preservative, so again you can see that your food quality is remaining constant up to 30 days or 45 days. Means food is quality has been stopped. So you can declare your shelf life. By various assessments. Sir, is it the same in the case of biscuit? In packet of biscuit, there is written that expiry period uh, nine months uh, from the manufacturing. Ah. That, is that same? Ha, ah, right, right. Because this has been experimented. This is not written theoretically. Okay, there is a, this is not a theoretical science. This is a overall practical science. Right. So it has been found that if you are following a proper guideline, uh, according to the food department, your food will be, your food can preserve from one month to six months, right? So what are the six principles of the safe food or correct food? Food must be hygienic, must be uh, packed in the hygienic condition, must be produced in the hygienic condition. है ना मस्ट बी वर्क इन दाइजेनिक हाइजेनिक कंडीशन तो फूड वॉट बी फूड प्रोड्यूस इज ऑथेंटिक सोर्स है ना दे शुड नॉट बी फ्रॉम वेरी डेंजरस सोर्स मीन्स इफ यू आर है वेरी पॉल्यूटेड रिवर एंड देन यू आर ग्रोइंग रेड इज इन दैट रिवर राइट विल यू ईट आफ्टर दैट बिकॉज यू नो द सोर्स इट्स दोर्स इज ऑलरेडी Polluted. Then how your product will be safe? 
So uh, whatever the startup you are going to start, you must know all about these hygienic aspects, their source, you know, in which condition they are produced, and you must go for the check of their nutritional content. And then you fix the parameter, and then you are going for the industrial mode product because there are various authentic agencies in the India. For example, in the government of India, there is a food department, right? So uh, there is a egg mark department, right? Uh, they are uh, assessing for the quality content, right? Time to time, they are assessing for quality condition, hygienic condition. If the hygienic condition is not right, quality is not right. Okay, so they are going to seal the industry. So industrial uh, is not that ki you just think and you should run. Always there is a checkpoint. If you are out of the parameter, you are not following the ethical standard. You are not following the guidelines. You are not working in the right environment. Then you have no right to run the food industry. Okay. So all these uh, safety aspects of the food is discussed under the food matrix part. Now let us discuss about the definition. So why we are doing the physical analysis of the food? Tell me, what is the physical analysis of food? Physical analysis means you are checking the pH, right? You are checking the various parameters, quality, texture, right? There is smell, right? So uh, one kind of thing, what you can say. that physical analysis is very important in prediction of prediction of the food ingredient right and also not only you can predict the food ingredients you can know their exact behavior right what if i am saying exact food, function of the food behavior means for example uh, suppose there is a final product you have made then exactly they are uh, giving the same test their uh, texture is right color is right smell is good right the, all these are aspects it's called as a food processing behavior they should not change in the final product so what is density you might be knowing the density density means mass per unit volume ha huh. mass per unit volume mass upon volume is called as the density means suppose honey honey you are comparing with the uh juice so which will be slower honey versus juice so honey will be slower in right honey will be slower in moving out of the vessel why because this is more then juice is flowing high because this is because this is less than so then is a comparative parameter means mass versus value this ratio is defined as the density right why density is important because it gives the flow property of the food material right and what the what the instrument you are using for determining the density of the food tell me which instrument you are using for determining the density of the food this is called as the note karlo hydrometer hydrometer and uh, for the density you can use the greek letter like this right si unit of density is kg Kg means indicator of mass. Volume means meter cube or liter. Meter cube is also called as the liter. The kg per liter or kg per meter cube. This is the side. So density. Already we have discussed what is that. All right. So how much? Uh, what is the density of water? This is one gram per centimeter cube. One gram per centimeter cube. So you can measure the density of many food products, and uh, this gives the compare of 
heaviness or lightness of different food. Okay, okay, got the idea. Relative density. And if you are comparing the density, this is called as the relative density. That I means you are comparing the mass versus weight of the equal volume of pot. Right. So if you are dissolving anything in water, you are changing its density. All right. That will be the relative density. So for example, the density of volume of lead is eleven. It means this is eleven times. As heavy as an equal amount of water. Got the idea? Got the point? And this is the hydrometer. What is the use of hydrometer? To determine the R. To determine the R. D. R. D. Mean relative density. All right. So this is hydrometer is specially calibrated to measure the R. D. Of different liquids used in the catering. Industry, right? What is the catering industry? Food industry. So, for example, this is hydrometer. Okay, you are taking very small amount of liquid and filling in them, and then you measure the time of their flow. And according to the time, if they are slow or very fast, you can tell which one is having the higher density. Phase change. Phase change refers to the change in matter from one state to another, right? If this is a liquid, this is a one phase. If this is a solid, this is a second phase. If this is a vapor, this is a third phase. Okay. So phase change refer to change in matter from one state to. If you are changing the state, then only you can say there is a phase change. When you will say phase change, means suppose you have a camphor. And for me, Kapoor, right? So as soon as you are burning it, so first it was a solid, then directly it converted into the vapor. There is a phase change or not? Tell me. Phase change or not? Yes or no? Yes, sir. It will change. Yes. It means what? Change is the. Phase heat, right? Heat changes its phases from solid to vapor. Clear? So pH already you know the Lagrangian is scale of hydrogen ion concentration. Negative Lagrangian of hydrogen ion concentration is called as the pH. pH varies from zero to fourteen in the scale. pH is direct role in increasing the shelf life of products. pH meter measure. Has it? Is pH four to four point five? Mold, mold, bacteria seven p. Mold four p. Four to four point five pH. Is this better to grow? Mold better grow four. Bacteria at seven point five. Right. So, on the basis of that, you can determine which one is. Acidic. If it's a zero to zero to five six, this is a acid. This is a strong acid. If it's a zero pH, four to five, four to six, this is a weak acid. Seven is the seven is the neutral. Right? Alkali means pH eight to fourteen. Eight weak alkali. Fourteen strong. Okay, strongly acidic. pH value two for many. Two point three lime. Two point seven pickle. Three apple. Three point four. Three point seven orange juice. So these are the very strong acidic pH foods. Okay. So similarly, you can say milk. Milk is a mild acidic food. Right. Bread, banana. This is a mild acidic food. Tomato. Mild as the food, peas, potatoes, mild as the food. Okay, butter chicken, mild as the food. Neutral chocolate, chocolate. Okay, mild alkaline, egg white is alkaline. Strong alkaline soda, soda, right? So this is all about the pH jam. 
what is the application of ps interpretation of jam ps should be 3.5 then it's having a longer shelf life uh if you want to retain green color in green vegetable then what you should do you can retain the green color by adding of pinch of sodium bicarbonate right then you can for example if you want to retain the vitamin c vitamin b complex all they are described in alkaline way. so what you will do you will add a pinch of sodium bicarbonate food digestion always people are talking about the acidity over here right so what you should do you should take anti acid to maintain the ph of your stomach texture of cake ph of the duck because if you are having the acidic ph it will grow and they will ferment the food right so you either you have to neutralize or you have to stop the fermentation by keeping at low temperature okay so surface tension it is defined as the dragging force in the given liquid per unit length tension means force per unit length this is the definition formula and surface tension means newton per meter newton is indication of force meter means length okay already we have discussed about the now so surface tension is a kind of force and uh, when we are talking about the force suppose there is a water filled in the filled in the container and you have a slide right and if you have a, another slide and the slide and this is a liquid and now you are keeping one slide over the other and what will happen can you separate it easily no right because they have cohesive force that made them stick so suppose you have thin pipe thin pipe so you can see plant this is a plant leaf this is a root to so water is here how they reach to the leaves by the surface then okay water is reaching to the top by thin capillary the blood vessel in your body also have the thin pipe like a structure and develop the cohesive force that helps them to distribute okay so osmosis if you are having the membrane and uh, if you want to move any molecule from higher concentration to lower concentration for example this is sugar and this is a water so they are going to move from this level to this level if you are keeping the temperature theek hai similarly temperature you know the formula how to convert the fahrenheit into degree centigrade already we have discussed a lot about the so all these aspects this is the end of lecture one in the next lecture we will discuss many more things many aspects of the nutritional composition of food biochemistry okay till then bye bye thank you